Hi everyone. So in this question, we're supposed to solve this system through by elimination. Okay, it's not elimination, I'm sorry. I just did a bunch of elimination by substitution. So we've got two equations here. What I'm looking for with, with uh, substitution here is I'm, I'm looking to, to replace in one equation uh, the information that I get from another equation here. So usually I'm looking for a variable that I can isolate uh, quite easily and then substitute it into the other one. Now in this particular question here, I'm going to do this one two different ways. Okay, We're going to break this one up here. I'll show you why in a second here. So in this case, the first equation, notice that it, it's going to be very easy to get x by itself because the coefficient of x is just 1. So here's equation 1. I'm going to bring that over and I'm going to get that x is going to equal negative 2y plus 4. I'm just going to subtract the 2y from both sides. Now this is what x is equivalent to. Okay, In both equations here, there's going to be a, a point okay, that satisfies both equations, meaning that the x-coordinate is going to look like this, and that should work in the second equation as well. Okay, Meaning for one particular point, okay, when I take this and substitute this into equation 2, that means 3 times x. Now x is going to be negative 2y plus 4, and then plus 2y will equal 0. This is equation 2. 3 times x, there's x, plus 2y equals 0. Now expand that out. I'm going to get negative 6y plus 12 plus 2y is equal to 0. And so now what have we got here? This is going to be negative 4y. Bring the 12 over, negative 12. So y is going to equal positive 3. Okay. Now in this case here, with substitution, actually, once you know what y is, you've basically just got to go back up to this little equation here because you've already got x isolated. So y equals 3 means negative 2 times 3 is going to be negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So therefore, x is equal to negative 2. And so the point that we're trying to get is negative 2, 3. Okay, good. So there's our solution. Now, I'm going to show you another way of doing this. Let's go look back up at this system here. Okay. With substitution, okay, I just have to, to it doesn't have, always have to be just the variable that I, I, I isolate. Take a quick look at this. Notice that 2y shows up in both. Okay, well, in this particular case here, equation 1, I could have done it like this and made 2y equal to negative x plus 4. Now, that 2y term shows up in the second equation as well. Meaning, I could substitute this into equation 2 to get 3x plus, well, now I know that 2y is equal to negative x plus 4, so it's going to be negative x plus 4, okay, and that's going to equal 0. So now 3x and negative x will be 2x plus 4 equals 0. Bring the, that over. 2x is equal to negative 4. x is equal to negative 2. Okay, good. That's totally consistent with what we had there. And so if I plug that negative 2 back up to here, now it's going to be a little bit more complicated to solve for y, but only just a little bit. Negative of negative 2 is positive 2 plus 4 is 6, and then divide by 2 is 3, so y is equal to 3. And there we go, the, the point that we get once again is negative 2, 3. 